Hey, it's Mike with PriceActionTradingSystem.com and it's Tuesday, it's April 2nd, this will be our chart lesson for today and it was another range day. Um, early on, we you wanted to play the overnight highs and lows, which this would be your low and this would be your high. So this is where we started for the day. But as the day progressed, it narrowed down where this was your resistance area and this seemed to be your support. Of course, we had a failed break here and we eventually went on out. That's usually what happens. You'll fail out one side and that'll and then it'll succeed out the other side. Sometimes it'll fail out both sides a couple of times before it goes on. But generally, what they'll do is they'll let it or trade it through this low side and they trap a lot of people on the wrong side and then it they'll push it on through and you see even then they still had a hard time pushing it on through before it went on through and buying finally picked up here late in the afternoon in the end we just took it all back again so uh, so yeah early on you want to start with your overnight highs and lows and you can see that was an important high yesterday and this has been some fairly important price level in here I'm not going to go way over there but anyway um, that's where I started, but as I said, the dash line is where it ended up as the day went on. And you can see we had a little failure out here. We failed big time out both of these here, and then it just reversed. So um, let's back out. We'll talk about the trades. And it won't take long. There's not a lot of them today. So the 7 o'clock hour came up through here somewhere. And, um, and of course, this is, that was yesterday's high. So you basically get a little break higher and notice this little trend line, you get a break outside and new high and you're a good bit away from the EMA. So this is one of those you might risk and catch that important high of the day. Um, but you're, you, you got a lower high here, not a very good signal bar. And then you had a failed second entry long here. This one. I'd still take this because this is really looks like a range day. Um, you could argue this one's real close to being green because it's right into the EMA and that's always a question mark. Um, so you might have waited on this one, especially being right at the open. But when it broke higher again and failed, uh, I like that one, big bearish bar. That's, that's, if you weren't in here, you definitely want to get in here. And if you did get in here, I wouldn't have any problem adding on to either one of these. You would have scalped out of this one, but you might have a runner going. Um, and then we get a break here, but you just keep getting first entries and you've already had a break and a new low right here. Um, I don't like this one just simply because it's a first entry and you got a two bar matching high. Now you've already got a new low. And here we go as soon as my as soon as I start trying to do the chart lesson, the phone starts ringing. It never fails. Um, but anyway, uh, I think you're better off just to skip these. Um, you'd probably want a trap or something uh, before you entered on either one of these because you you really don't have a lot of room to the lows. Uh, although you'd probably, you do have some support here already obvious but this was the overnight low so this is one you really so there's a good bit of room to there but with that break in that new low uh, I'd be real careful there and then of course it turns up and you get a you just you, you get a first entry short and then you break short and turn up and this is why you got to be careful when you're going sideways like this of uh, looking for traps and things because you just get whipsawed and then you get a failed second entry long and it rockets to the bottom so Failed second entry short, failed second entry long, um, and then it goes down. So when it starts going sideways like that and you get those bars stacking up, just stay out of it. You're better off. Um, you might have taken the long here because this had played out and you got a low failure. And so you might have taken that one at, the point, at that point. So that's one we could mark. And it did break lower and turn and go out this side. I think you would have had enough room to get out there. Uh, so you might have taken that one, but honestly, by that time, you've got several bars stacking up. It's obvious there's a little range there. I, I just wouldn't even enter that. And then, of course, it's a failed break higher, but not a very good signal bar. 
then it comes down here it does make another new low and it bounces you get a reversal right here so again this is one you might take but look what happens you get a doji a doji and so it's just real um it's just real suspect entering right there but again it is a failure we did just come off the lows we didn't quite make the lows but there was some support here and that trend line's in place so you may take that one then we just get another little first entry and, and of course we get a break here and a move to a new high and then notice what happens you make a new low then first entry second entry normally i'd tell you that's not a good enough signal bar but you got this high and you get a first entry and then you turn down and turn back up there's a second entry uh, long right there and then you got a little failure but once again you got all those bars stacked up so uh, you got to be real careful uh, so that's one you might enter going long and then we run back up here and you get a second entry short with that failed second entry long but notice that this is congestion so it's like a little range and so that's like a failed breakout so you i like that one plus there's proven resistance across there and this is a lower high so i like that one and first thing i would do is i'd look for another leg down and that gets you right back into here where your last low was so that's generally a pretty good idea that the target's probably going to go there of course this time it just keeps on going um you don't want to be entering down here near the overnight low when it broke higher and turned back down here you might enter there but being that far away from the ema and already having a break outside that trend line with that being a new low um i'm probably going to skip that one so then we drop down here uh, and you get that nice bullish bar way away from the EMA a failed break lower these are always risky because it's hard picking bottoms but everything's played out and a lot of times this is where you catch a major low of the day and if you caught this you could have ridden this all the way back up so you know knowing how ranges work sometimes they're worth the risk um, of course see if you would tried to by the bounce right here which but of course your trend line still in place so that's a good reason to stay out but now you got a break and you really got a couple of legs down so um then we rock it back up you get a first entry and then you get a second entry and we bounce right there at that previous support um nice bullish bar i like going along there and of course this would be your near-term target right here if it heads there and of course that's exactly where it goes And then look what happens here. You had, you've already had resistance across here. You made this clearly and you test it once, you test it twice and you get that little failed break higher. Um, this is actually your signal bar right here. Uh, I like going short right there. Plus that's a new swing low. It's lower than that one. So first entry, that's a second entry short. This trend line's played out working up. It's a double test of this. It's a relatively bearish bar. It's a little ways away from the EMA. And then, of course, your target is going to be at least to the EMA and maybe back to the support. And that's exactly where it goes. And then we try to go lower twice. Of course, you don't want to be going short into that, so don't be looking for any shorts. And when it fails right there, again, this is um, a little bit of overlap here. But we're back in this range, and we just come off the low. Uh, and that's a relatively bullish bar. I'd probably risk that one. I like that one. Just to ride it back to here. And of course you get the same thing here um you may you got that high you test it once you test it twice you get a little failed breakout there was a second entry short there that's real tempting and it is a double test um if you took that one you would have gotten burned right there uh, i like this one just simply because it's that failed break and they probably trap some people so again you got to be careful with these things when they start going sideways like this um, so you're probably better off to do nothing until it, you get a little failed break out one side or the other because that's obviously a little congestion area uh, it may not have looked so much like it right here you can see that so um, there's still a few bars stacking up of course you got that here too so sometimes you just have to make a judgment call and that's a very tempting trade it's a second entry short because this is a double bottom so you can count that as a new low um, 
if you went short there you would have got burned but when it fell out here i'd probably enter short again and you see what happened you would have scalped out of this one but it still wanted to go higher here and so that's why you got to be careful in those and generally you want to wait on um, something to fail out one side or see it fell out again right here but it still went higher there actually is a trend line working up here that might have kept you out of all of those I probably would have drawn it like that but in the end I think it's down here and you can see that um, so that might have kept you out of any shorts here and put you into the longs here so that's something to think about I don't think I would have gone long there you might have gone long right here if you had a good signal bar because it's a little breakout pullback but I would have still preferred to see that as support right there before I went long so um, just you know it's, it's just the trading's been a little off the last few days uh, a lot of sideways action a lot of little congestion that you get whipsawed in and so you got to be careful with your traps and things and really on a day like this you just want to look for failed breaks and you want to look to go short off the highs and long off the lows anything in the middle can be suspect so um, that that's another thing about this short right here notice that you got a little trend line working up and that's the first break you didn't quite get a new high so that would be another reason that you may hold on that one because look what happens you get you push up one more time and uh, and then you get a new high and then you and then it you get a move a nice move down it still doesn't go any further because you got a little bit of a trend line working up here but uh, generally I try to stay with the rules so unless you get a double failure like right here see right here you got the trend line working now you try to go lower once you try to go lower twice and then when it failed then maybe you go long here you're working up you try to go lower once or higher once you try to go higher twice and it does make a new high and then it turns down still can't get below that support right there uh, but you got enough room to scalp out between there and you would have been able to get out of that one so just keep that in mind try to play the rules as close as you can and look to enter along the lows along the highs and the little failures that break out are the ones that really tend to be the better trades like here um, this was one right here uh, but generally uh, I would have waited that's not a very good signal bar so I would have waited on a, a lower high and then the next bar and you you really don't get a lower high well you actually get one here but again you're going sideways and you got all those four three or four. anytime you get the rule basically is three or more bars s stacked up side by side and it generally you won't want them to look like a doji even though this is not a doji it's still that's a relatively bullish bar right there but notice how you got a down bar up bar up bar down bar up bar just generally you want to just stay out of that I did mark this one uh, but I'd probably stay out of that because it's just too risky uh, especially right into the EMA right there and that's probably why I didn't originally mark it and came back and marked it green I'm just going to delete oops delete that one because that's a really risky trade right there uh, I guess I did delete it. and this one's basically the same thing that that's the only thing I will say is that you had that set up here and so it's almost like a um, repeat pattern so uh, that's not that one's hard to spot there though because you just came off the high and you really want to be looking for lows here and you just you know when you come off the lows you want to be looking for longs and when you come off the highs you really want to be looking for shorts and that's the only way to play this safely and you still could you know there's still op you know chances here where you might get it wrong there's just not much you can do about it when the trading's kind of slow and weak like this and that's just the way it's been this week so um, you know we had some really really slow times last summer uh, and we kept you know people kept asking me is it always going to be like this and you know I said just wait you'll have a volatile period come up and then that fall and all through the fall it's just been it was some of the best trading ever I mean it was just the market was just constantly moving and big moves and you know now we're back to the slower more methodical stuff so it's just the way the market works so hang in there um, just remember on these type days try to buy the lows and sell the highs 
find out where you're turning consistently and use that. And uh, that's really all you can do. So I'm going to wrap it up. We'll be back again tomorrow. I'm done for today. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com. And we'll see you next time.